Madara versus Aizen. Today we're figuring out who has more Black Force energy. If you guys want more death battle reactions, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Pretty high Madara quality Uchiha, stuff. The legendary messianic shinobi from Naruto. Sosuke Aizen, the soul reaper who stood upon the heavens from Bleach. We may dream of glory, but these two have the will to power to take it by force and claim a seat among the gods. They're the Those biggest. They used to. The fact they used a jump force clip. Stop him, ghost yeah. versus zombie. Let's go. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. What else? Endless destruction. Countless dead. A plot to conquer the planet. The ninja world was at war. For the fourth time, only one man could save humanity from itself from beyond the grave. The same man who orchestrated this war in the first place in order to end all yeah, wars. My man Madara was a menace. Madara I know. Uchiha. From birth, war was the only the thing the young Madara knew. And there was no ninja he liked fighting more than Hashirama Senju. They're basically Ninja Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> ninja to Romeo clans, and Juliet. Madara and Hashirama were forced to battle each other for years, all the while dreaming of a better future. Their bromance eventually overcame their clan's differences and the two groups merged, creating the village of Konoha. But Madara wasn't satisfied with Hashirama's dream of peace through cooperation. He desired an immortal peace through total domination. I'm not gonna lie, quality is crazy, amazing. So he bounced, yeah, yeah, this and then he came back to wage war against the <laughs> The Storm Ford clip. <laughs> <laughs> Madara's megalomania was perhaps fated, considering he is in fact the reincarnation of the demigod Indra Otsutsuki oh, and the inheritor of his immensely powerful chakra. Basically, oh wow! Oh, that? That I knew about the Otsuki clan, but I didn't know he was like the reincarnation. Oh shoot! His wood is especially yeah. impressive, considering it's the Hashirama only style of elemental jutsu Hashirama. that can create life. Mm. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Madara can even use his goonbai to absorb ninjutsu and return it right back to sender. You know you're yeah, a badass when busted. you can take on armies with Dang. just a friggin' fan. Madara has torn apart hordes of ninja yes, without breaking we've a sweat, seen this clip. taking a beating from every tailed beast at once, Probably and even the defeated the five Kage, ever. some of the strongest shinobi in the world. The Raikage is <laughs> even stated to be fast enough to move at light speed, and even yes. weaker ninja like Orochimaru have dodged literal photon beams. But Madara's greatest tool is the one born from his very bloodline, the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Sharingan. These magical Sharingan. eyes massively enhance his perception down to the cellular level, allowing him to predict movements, see the flow of chakra, and summon the mighty perfect Susano. Susano. Sharingan can also cast a genjutsu that'll trap anyone that looks at it in an illusion, and even break them out of those same illusions. In Sasuke, I can see why they picked this fight. As strong as yeah, it's because which can warp your perception. Mm, and, and, Itachi you know, on a fellow Chiba, the Genjutsu and uh, um, Aizen's uh, Banka, well not, I don't know if that's Banka. And when she died in the illusion, she died for real. If Sasuke could break out of it, Madara could too, easily. And after grafting some of Hashirama's cells onto himself, he now would always have a piece of his Romeo inside. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Ain't no way. Like that. Shells, he like not crack, only gained bro. a healing factor strong I didn't enough to know that. from having half his yeah, body Ashirama vaporized, but also busted. the terrifying Rinnegan. AKA the big chungus of all eye magic. The ringy eyes let Madara absorb chakra and ninjutsu, create invisible limbo clones, see and remove your soul from your body. What? You, you didn't know about this? Bro, no. Yeah, While the Rinnegan lacks okay, some of the so Sharingan's unique abilities, he can switch abilities. between them at will. After tearing the ninja world a new asshole, Madara was finally defeated in a climactic battle for the ages by his BFF. And thus the life of a legendary shinobi came to an end in the arms of his one true love. Or did it? Alright, this, this is gonna get pretty crazy, but just bear with me. 
fearing a defeat. Oh, they're about to go through all of this with Obito and Akatsuki. Reality and bring him back to life, and it worked. So Madara tricked another Uchiha, Obito, into witnessing his best friend murdering his other best friend. Then he tasked Obito with manipulating the world into another war. Meanwhile, he gave his own Renegon to Nagato with the goal of getting it back after he was brought back to life the second time with the Outer Path because he died again. Make sense? Yeah, this plot. Uh, that'll never work. <laughs> You're right, yeah, it didn't. It's crazy. So Obito went out and got the Renegon back from Nakato's corpse, because he died. Then Kabuto brought Madara back to life, and he got his eyes back from Obito after some backstabbing. Then he sealed the awakened Tentails within himself in order to gain ultimate power and create the world's greatest nap time ever. <gasps> Look what you people have done to him. You people. You think Ten Tails' power would be awesome, but <laughs> nah, those he's crazy. eight balls of doom are so lame. Don't let their size fool you. These truth-seeking orbs are in another league. The Ten Tails yeah. is strong enough to wipe continents off the map, and the orbs can be shaped into weapons that will completely yeah, didn't disintegrate Naruto anything get that at one point? contact with. Not even mm -hmm. ninja resurrected through Edo Tensei like Minato could regenerate limbs lost to the truth seeking orbs, which means they had to erase Basically, his if those things spirit hit you, it's itself. Mm -hmm. like, it hit you was so insane, soul. he was considered comparable Yikes. to the original sage of six pants. The dude uh, he, who he was not hard from the moon. And he when Madara created level. meteors, they were large enough to show up against the curvature of the earth. Measuring their size and estimating oh, the height Robert. which Madara oh, lifted they're them, they'd have to possess a potential Roma. energy of at least 372 petatons of TNT. He was even fast enough to keep up with Eight Gates' guy. Oh who God! Hard enough to uh, space. That's rough. Attack Marie Hawk's light speed loogies. Considering even base Madara has displayed speeds on par with light timing ninja, we know Ten Tails Madara would have to be significantly faster thanks to the Ten Tails' power. With virtually no one left to oppose him, Madara's plot was finally in the endgame. He awakened the Rin Sharingan, and with the God Tree summoned, he cast the infinite Tsukuyomi, spreading the tree's roots infinite across the entire Tsukuyomi. planet and capturing every single person in the world. This would enslave all of humanity in an endless dream world, free of conflict forever. Peace through total domination. Manipulating this tree with his chakra would have involved physically wait, 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 wait. Isn't there a theory where, like, Naruto is still, like, in a Genjutsu, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I mean, he took the dub. There's a theory that, like, Naruto is, like, still the infinite Tsukuyomi, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, do they... Not, they, do they like ever confirm anything like in Naruto that would make you think it's not true? Oh yeah, it's called they break out. Oh okay, all right. They break out of the infinite. Oh, it, it shows. Oh okay, okay. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's really an episode. Ten ten kind of help try to like save everyone. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, in mere I mean, moments. But that's not a dream. Estimating the speed at which the roots were moved, his chakra must have released an energy exceeding one yoda ton of TNT. And this was with just one jutsu. Is there a character that could possibly even touch Madara Uchiha? Kishimoto himself didn't even know. Madara's power was so overwhelming, the only thing that could take him down was treachery. Even the man with the magic eyes couldn't see that coming. All that was left was his old friend, Hashirama, there to comfort him in his final moments. Just like Romeo and Juliet. Bro. There never was there a story of four woe. Then this. So I just, I just want to say, I just want to say, they already bro. offer one thing. I read it in They're the comparing him to the original stage of six stars. That's, mm -hmm. that's wrong. Madara is weaker than uh, Hagaromo. He's a lot weaker than Hagaromo. The Soul Society. Here we go. The Black One Force Energy himself. Was set to be executed Tenpachi. under suspicious circumstances. And then we got a band Aizen. of humans from the living world had invaded to save her. And Sosuke Aizen, captain of the fifth division of the Gotei. I'm not gonna lie, Aizen fooled me. Murder. He fooled me. Yeah. Dastardly yeah. mastermind could have been behind all this. He'd have to be a galaxy brained 5D chess master. The man responsible was, in fact, Sosuke Aizen. Little is known about the man's past, only that he isn't a man, a human man, but a soul reaper. These Shinigami are spiritual beings who ferry lost souls to the afterlife and purify those who have turned evil in the living world. They're badass anime wizard Grim Reaper swordsmen, though Aizen himself was hardly that cool. I mean, just look at those glasses, dork. But this Clark dork. Kent was harboring a secret. Aizen had spent years attempting to develop the means to ultimate power, ruining the lives of many of his colleagues via his twisted experiments. 
Oh, so when Eisen does it, he's a super villain. But when you do it to me, it's shut the hell up, Boomstick. You're under NDA, and I know about the stuff you've done. As a Shinigami, Eisen's body is made of Reishi, being spirit matter, and empowered by Rare Yoku, being spirit energy. Entities made of Reishi are completely invisible to anyone without specific supernatural awareness, though a Shinigami's body is still tangible and can be damaged normally. And with his Rei Ryoku energy, Aizen can create incredibly powerful blasts. He's so strong, weaker beings will literally disintegrate if they get too close to him. That spiritual pressure, boy! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the, technically, his, his spiritual power. pressure should he also kill Madara. Tons of keto or spells. Mm. He can create force fields, because, bend the light you know, around Madara him to make him impossible to detect. Spirit. Fire concentrated mm. bolts of lightning. So, like, are they saying, like, from his surroundings to make I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Dragon. Is Madara able to see him the without his Sharingan? Technically, the Shangan wouldn't Eisen even surrounds his target oh, in an okay. enormous black mm. coffin that distorts space and time. Gonna have to oh God, I forgot about that move. Eisen's flooding oh, finally yeah, came to fruition square. during the yes. invasion of the Soul Society, where he faked his death using his greatest weapon, his Zanpakuto. Yeah, Zanpakuto. The yeah, Shinigami Zanpakuto is a magical sword that possesses a sentient spirit. Yoka Soigetsu gives Aizen complete control over his victim's senses the instant they lay eyes on the sword. This complete hypnosis traps its victims in a nearly perfect illusion Just that Aizen like can manipulate at will, making himself virtually immune to attacks while his opponents are sitting ducks. It's so strong that it kept a group of ex-soul reapers known as the Visor trapped for over a hundred years without them even knowing it. It's one of the most broken powers wow. ever and the definition yeah. of anime bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It was all worth it when he perfected his uh. ultimate creation, the Hogyoku, an immensely powerful reality warping device that, quote, materializes the user's wishes. In Aizen's case, it realized his desire to become the strongest being in the universe. With it, he can heal any of his wounds, even when half his body is vaporized. Yeah, and more importantly, blue. it exponentially blue. increases his power over time through evolution by turning him into a horrifying butterfly monster man. A being eventually strong enough to dethrone right. and replace the soul Even if, like, soul a lot of it, the uh, they got a, like, a lot of information. Balance. Even that, like, a minor good disruption to, to the Soul King's influence led to the yeah. three worlds of Earth, the Soul Society, so far, and Quaker Mundo like to start physically <laughs> collapsing. Yeah. Then it Quaker implied Mundo. that the Soul King has to be outputting enough energy to hold all these places together at all times. Considering each should be roughly the same size, this would require an energy of over 140 zettatons of TNT. As it is powerful enough to vaporize mountains as a side effect of a sword swing. His casual energy blasts can disintegrate huge chunks of the earth, and he can take on armies Busted. with just his Ryatsu alone. He even defeated the rest of the Gote 13 without so much as breaking a sweat. So he should be way stronger Busted. than Soul Society heavy hitters. Yeah. Dang, bro, he too Gaia can't do nothing. What? That's oh, yeah. Can you punch me? Don't wait, did he learn? Wait, don't tell me. Energy of at least I didn't get that. So of 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 TNT. And Aizen was so badass, he literally transcended other Shinigami in power. He was in a whole other dimension from the rest of them. Until he fought Ichigo Kurosaki. The battle we've all been waiting for. Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me. Society arc, Ichigo was already as fast as lightning. And by okay. this point, after all his power boosts, he'd even be faster than light. Hell, even weaker characters like this lady can dodge light beams. Though their fight was epic, Ichigo had transcended the Shinigami as well. And even Aizen himself. Feeding upon his insecurities, oh Hogoku abandoned Aizen, who was quickly defeated and imprisoned within the bottommost level of the Soul Society's prison. Aizen was left alone. His great power he sacrificed so much to achieve was gone forever. Wow. Or was it? Somehow he ended up getting even stronger than before. What? What made him so strong? <laughs> Could it what? Be the chair? It's not the chair. It could theoretically be due to the chair's restraints keeping his Reiatsu from properly releasing, building it up within him until he was stronger in base than he was at his previous max. Nah, it's definitely the chair. And, ooh, since the chair could still hold him after he got stronger, wouldn't that make it even stronger than him? Even stronger than the Soul King? All hail the mighty chair sama, most powerful being <laughs> oh, mighty chair sama. Oh, against the Quincy warlord Yua, who absorbed the power of the Soul King himself. Yeah, he you even used Kyoka Suigetsu to trick him. And you Yua is a dude who can literally Kyoko. see every possible future all at the same time. All according to Keikaku, bitches. 
And after, and after standing among the gods themselves, Aizen returned to captivity and pondered the meaning of his existence. Even trapped in a prison, sealed off in a different dimension with a 20,000 year sentence, he remains the most dangerous being in the world. Who knows what schemes are brewing behind those cold, calculating eyes. No compassion, no empathy. So wait, is Aizen in a thousand year blood war yard? No one has ever don't stood at the top. Tell me. I don't know if you know. Neither you nor me. I don't think From I even know that. On, I um, alone will stand at the top. All right. So, all right. So, get to Arthur, 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 Arthur. Arthur. so now what should happen, right, realistically is Madara walks by Aizen and dies from spiritual pressure. Honestly, so far, after everything they've been telling me, that is probably what should happen. Honestly, I feel like Aizen is more busted than Madara. More, he, he got he more is. feats. Uh, Madara. They better not. They better not say Madara is immune to it because he's immune to Genjutsu. Because there's a difference between Genjutsu and a Zanpakuto. Like, yeah, it is. You know, and it, when it comes down to things like this, it is hard. You know, um, these are two different verses. Yeah, but like the thing is. We're not stating like we're gonna equal them out. So like he has chakra, so he can steal chakra. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Nah, they're saying Aizen and Madara. So give everything to everyone. Aizen would neg him. Like it's it's over. So you know uh, yeah, I mean? uh, yeah. I, my vote is definitely on Aizen so far. Which yeah. should happen? It, it, yeah, it should be. It should be Aizen. That's like saying Naruto beats Goku. Uh, here we go. You can see me. I yeah, that's weird. Everything. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's already off. Did you see that? Oh, yikes. This music, bro. This soundtrack kind of fire. Yeah, Ooh. Oh. Yep. That's pretty much. Oh. I would expect nothing more from a Oh yeah, he but can he regen? Regen? Oh, there's no oh, way. What was that? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is all. Oh, already? Oh, okay, right. already? God. Bro, ain't no way, bro. Oh, oh. Tell me he's done. Tell me he's done. Did they just say that he broke out of... There's no way. What? No, no, no. All right, that was obvious. I mean, yeah. bro. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. Oh, Susano. I was about to say, bro, what is that? Bro, the Susano is useless at this point. The Susano is weaker than you, Madara. Hado 99, go you 10 minutes! If they were using it uh, in 1911, they were strapped with an AK. Oh, God. Oh, his limbo clones. We got voice acting? <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Oh, huh?
Oh shoot. That's how it should be. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. Wait, no, what? No, no, no. Big stuff, no. Bruh. Ain't no way, bruh. Bruh, alright. Hard, hard this one. Ain't no first off, way, bro. First off, literally when they first met each other, Madara would already be dead. He would have fell for his own pocket, though. Yeah, he had, on, he had his blade out. He definitely had his blade out, did he not? Yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. Genjutsu is not working on Aizen. Especially if he, he didn't act he it, doesn't, like... He doesn't have chakra. <sighs> this is... This okay, bro. I thought Eisen was winning, bro. Well, he should have. This is some tomfoolery. <laughs> some tomfoolery. Golly, like I honestly, a lot of things I didn't even like. I'm not for Shippuden. I can't really say too much. But a lot of stuff really was like not making sense. Like especially when he first lost, Amadora lost all his limbs. And did some nonsense. I don't know. It. I that don't was, know how that works. That was that was Izanami. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He can like survive being killed. Okay, he used that once. He would have just died right after. He would have never <laughs> traded blows. Like it, it's not this close. I uh, yeah. I Literally, there's other YouTubers, except the programmer who made videos about this, like with the actual power scaling, mm -hmm. and like it. It's like white bread, bro. It's basic. Do they like do a synopsis? Yeah, usually. Of course, Madara won. He fake died twice for his 5D chess plan. Well, Aizen only fake died once. Aizen and Madara were extremely evenly matched in raw power and speed. By our calculations, Madara spreading the God Tree's roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful than the best that Aizen could scale to with his rare Yoku. And both whoa, ended up being whoa. roughly okay, as fast pause, as each other. Pause. Well, there are. So they're saying like a utility feat, right? Mm -hmm. It's not power. It is something that does something completely different, right? They're talking about like his, his pressure, right? No, no, no. They're talking about like Aizen's final move. Oh. What like they said that would, that's comparable? No, because it doesn't do damage. It just puts you to sleep. Range of possible feats and numbers to go with to determine their limits. The point is, they're always going to be close to even. Which means the main thing that mattered here were their powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. While Soul Reapers like Aizen may be invisible to regular people, the Rinnegan allowed Madara to see invisible spiritual beings like his own Limbo clones. Hell, the Rinnegan lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a Soul Reaper is. Both Chakra and Rare Yoku utilized spirit energy and operated in similar ways, being formed into attacks like Ninjutsu and Kido. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb Ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks and even dispel his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete <laughs> hypnosis was, Sharingan users can break out of illusions no sweat, even ones as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And since Madara no, can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharingan at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusions are nearly perfect, but fellow Captain Unohana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in Genjutsu's all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break out. However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity of offensive options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept Aizen constantly on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything, except for those pesky eight balls of doom. Madara's truth-seeking uh, orbs were yikes. capable of completely molecularly annihilating spiritual beings. Now those make sense. And again, no. Aizen was but a like still. Being. Since Aizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Aizen was an unbelievably overpowered foe. But Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth-seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex-Shinigami. Sosuke should have kept his eyes in the prize. In 
That was you feel real. Yeah, shame, what? Eh, moderately. Ha! So Double I see what it is. The winner is Madara Uchiha. And then they showed the next one coming after. Like, oh, they do? Yeah. All right, bet. Let's see. Thank you for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you're looking to get some merch for the holidays, we've got a bunch of great new items from Death Battle and Rooster Teeth. From hoodies to t-shirts to socks to beer steins. Click that box and start shopping Obi Wan now. versus Kakashi. Yeah, well, next there, time, there, One Punch. Oh, 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 oh. oh. against who? Popeye. 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 All right, bro. All right, bro. Popeye is. Okay. Popeye wins, bro. Popeye wins, bro. Don't, uh, quote, don't quote me. But listen, if y'all want more death battles, we, we can react to this Saitama versus Popeye one coming up next. Uh, Y'all just let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Also, all y'all make sure to hit that notification bell, bro. Oh, yeah, facts. That's it for today's video.